President Donald Trump challenges Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden to release his list of potential Supreme Court picks. The president says it is important for voters to weigh the information before the election. For his part, President Trump vowed yesterday to nominate conservatives who would uphold the Constitution. Over the next four years, America's president will choose hundreds of federal judges and in all likelihood, one, two, three, and even four Supreme Court justices. President Donald Trump says nominating a Supreme Court justice is one of the most important decisions a president can make. He announced 20 names yesterday that he would add to his list of potential picks. Every one of these individuals will ensure equal justice, equal treatment, and equal rights for citizens of every race, color, religion, and creed. Senator Ted Cruz writes, it's humbling and an immense honor to be considered for the Supreme Court. He's one of three senators included on the new list. We're not going to get any better than Justice Scalia. The best we can do is preserve constitutional victories like upholding the Second Amendment, like protecting religious liberty. Also named Senator Tom Cotton, who quickly made headlines for tweeting, it's time for Roe v. Wade to go. And Senator Josh Hawley, who says that he would rather stay in the Senate to help the president by, quote, confirming constitutional conservatives. Ted and Josh and Tom are, uh, uh, they're whip smart. Um, uh, they, are, they, are, they understand the role of a judge. They understand that judges aren't supposed to be politicians in robes. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden will only say that he would pick a black woman. Joe Biden has refused to release his list, perhaps because he knows the names are so extremely far left that they could never withstand public scrutiny. And the Democrat supports those who support abortion. Joe Biden doesn't want to acknowledge who he would put on the Supreme Court. And I think that should, that should give us pause.